SB 396 uh, combats discrimination and encourages greater inclusion of transgender Californians in the workforce. Transgender or transgender workforce workers face unemployment twice the state average, and 27% report being fired, denied a promotion, or not being hired because of their gender identity. California has the most comprehensive set of LGBT non-discrimination protections of any state, yet discrimination continues to be a major obstacle to inclusion of transgender workers. The Transgender Work uh, Transgender Work Opportunity Act will make California the first in the nation to explicitly require training about transgender rights. The bill amends the existing two-hour sexual, sexual harassment training requirement in the Fair Housing and Employment Act to include training on gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation for supervisory employees at companies with more than 50 employees. SB 396 also requires businesses to post informational materials developed by the Department of Fair Employment and Housing on transgender civil rights. We have been doing research members for some time about this issue of our transgender brothers and sisters and the access to, to jobs, and the numbers were so staggering. Research shows that 21% of LGBT respondents reported having been treated unfairly by an employer in hiring, pay, or promotions. 15% of our transgender workers reported being verbally, physically, and sexually harassed at work. Transgender women of color are seven times more likely to be living in low-income uh, households of less than $10,000 per year. Members, SB 396 builds on the path-breaking guidance to work of business leaders to break down barriers to employment for our transgender workers. With that, I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you. Uh, please call your first witness. Hello, I'm Michaela Mendelson. Um, I, I wear many hats. I'm a, um, large, one of the larger franchisees for El Pollo Loco. I am on the um, executive board of the Trevor Project uh, on the mayor's uh, Garcetti's Workforce Development Board, but I'm also the founder of Trans Can Work. Uh, what we'll do, uh, members of the committee today, what we'll decide um, will help shape the workforce of the future for this state. There are 220,000 uh, adults in the 2016 survey who identify as transgender, although that is probably low because not all choose to identify. But in a more recent survey by the California Health Institute and published by the Williams Institute, 4.5% of youth 12 to 17 in the state now identify in some major fashion as gender nonconforming. So as you can see, this will be an important matter in the workplace going forward. I'm going to back up a bit. About 18 months ago, I had the pleasure of meeting for lunch with Kevin Kish, along with his, uh, the director of the DFEH, along with his lead attorney, Roya. Uh, what had precipitated this meeting was this DFEH poster, um, which had just come out on, on transgender workforce regulations. In that lunch, I promised Kevin that that day I would make it my mission to promote use of this poster throughout the restaurant industry. Six months and numerous meetings later, Trans Can Work entered into an agreement with the California Restaurant Association to promote uh, a program to train restaurant operators on trans inclusivity based on state law and connect them with job seekers. To accomplish this, we produced a 10-minute training video hosted by Jeffrey Tambor Starr of the hit show Transparent. Uh, you can find this video on our website at transcanwork.org. It might interest you. Along with, along with that, you'll find Christy's story uh, which about her workplace and uh, harassment, which had, has already been viewed by over eight, nine million uh, viewers. Our efforts with the DFEH came full circle when we testified at the FEHC hearing on the new regs, which became effective last week on July 1st. We are pleased with these new regs. They're designed to work on a practical level, assisting companies to become trans-inclusive. But as I stood before the council at their January hearing in Los Angeles, I asked Haya Mendelbaum, the chairperson, how will you educate employers on these new regulations? He said, we don't have a budget for education. We rely on people like yourself. Well, you see, it was my experience in speaking to thousands of employers in our Trans Can Work program that 80 to 90 percent of the employers had no idea of existing laws in California protecting transgender people, which had been in place for well over 10 years. And if they did, they had no practical knowledge on how to create a culture within their business to make this work, a culture of respect and understanding. So you may have seen stories of some of my employees on the Nat Geo documentary, Gender Revolution, or other news outlets. <coughs> that we have appeared in. But I'm here to tell you today that those horrific stories are, are shared by nearly all people 
that, we, that we're helping. Nearly all of the hundreds of trans women who have come to us for help in our program have never worked at a job where they were on a level playing field with others. And very few had been able to work in their true gender identity. They came to us, as you can imagine, with very low self-esteem, many wondering if their lives were worth living. 41% had historically attempted suicide. But we watched day by day as they developed relationships with customers who delighted in getting to know them. And as they saw themselves in the customer's eyes as who they truly were, their self-esteem grew and their outlook changed from one day to the next, from day-to-day from day -day survival to a life of possibilities. Some married, considered children, some went back to school to further educate themselves and elevate their options. This was a great achievement that we watched, and over 25% of those people made the pathway to management a very high number. Our community is incredibly thankful to Senator Lara for this bill, SB 396. It's designed to ensure employers are fully aware of the, these new regulations and have practical training tools to ensure they can successfully integrate this new highly motivated pool of employees into their workplace. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Next witness. <clears throat> Good afternoon, distinguished me committee members, guests, and advocates. I would like to start by thanking you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of my community. My name is Mary Angel Hernandez. I'm a transgender rights advocate. I'm originally from Honduras. I came to the United States when I was 16. In Honduras, organized crime targets the LGBT community. They burned my school, and a friend of mine was murdered, who was transgender. I was scared for my life and made the decision to immigrate to this country 10 years ago. One thing I've learned in this country is to be fearless. But when I began applying for jobs as a transgender woman, I encountered some attitudes I thought I had left behind. I never struggled finding work as a man. My struggle to find work was as a transgender woman. Because to be a transgender job seeker in California means that you can have 10 years of experience, the most stellar references, land 20 very promising interviews and still be denied an opportunity because your gender identity does not match your legal name. To be a transgender worker in California means women like Christy can be forced to use a male bathroom at her job, become the victim of a sexual assault, and consequently be fired because somehow to her employer it was her fault. For Yessi, it meant that a customer could physically assault her, break her nose, and have her employer give little to no support. This kind of stories are not unique to my experience or theirs. There are thousands of transgender people out there right now facing the same realities. The common denominator is indifference. The apathy is fueled with, with misconceptions and stigmas that have prevented many transgender people around the state and the nation from access to opportunity. Despite the laws prevent discrimination, there is a huge cultural gap of understanding. We have to dispel the stigma that trans women particularly face in the workplace. Trans can work diligently, works towards meeting this goal, and I'm happy to call them my family, friends, and employer. When you cast your vote, take in mind you're not just voting on amending a law, but amending a conversation and direction you want the state to take in, further protecting the rights of transgender and gender nonconforming individuals. Together, we can change what it means to be a transgender worker in California. Today, to me, to be a transgender professional in California means we are one step closer to define the standard on workplace inclusivity. Because if there is room for an opportunity, there is room for change. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Uh, we went over the six minutes, but we'll give you another minute if you want to add some additional remarks. Okay. okay. Stop. Thank you. Uh, anyone else wishing to add on in support of the bill? Joe Michael for Equality California in support. Thank, Thank you. you. Taylor DeLaviaga, the ACLU of California in support. Thank you. Rebecca Gonzalez, National Association of Social Workers California chapter in support. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to add on in support? Any opposition? If there's any opposition, please come forward. Seeing none, we'll turn it to the committee uh, for questions, comments. No question or comments. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Bill has been moved. I'll second. Would you like to close? 
Thank you, Mr. Chair uh, and members. Again, education is the first step towards inclusion, and our bill will help California businesses open their doors to these valuable workers. If the T is going to mean anything in our in LGBT, we need to make sure that our transgender community is fully integrated, respected, and fully employed in our workplace. And with that, I respectfully ask for I vote. Thank you. Uh, this bill has a due pass recommendation. I'm honored also to be a co-author of the bill. Yes. Please call the roll. Motion is due pass to appropriations. Thurman? Aye. Thurman, aye. Flora? Aye. Flora, aye. Gonzalez Fletcher? Aye. Gonzalez Fletcher, aye. Harper? No. Harper, no. Joan Sawyer? Aye. Joan Sawyer, aye. Calra? McCarty? That bill is out. That bill is out, and we'll leave that roll open at the end for others to add on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you to the witnesses.